Salam my good friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you seven ADB commands every Android developer should know because we work with it every day. And at the end of the video, I will show you a way to get more productive with ADB commands. Let's get started. So of course you have to run ADB commands in some kind of terminal. I prefer using the terminal that comes with Android Studio, okay? If you didn't add it to the path because ADB, sometimes you have to add it to the path, make sure you can run ADB commands, all right? So we are also making sure that we are running these commands here with the IDE. For example, you can click here and you can see run commands using IDE. This is important, okay? So of course, ADB, in ADB, we have many, many commands, all right? So I decided to share with you what I use the most, okay? Because I think every developer is using these commands a lot. So the first two commands, which is to revoke and also to grant permissions for specific app. This is really crucial. Sometimes you want to test the app, but you don't have the time to search for the code to grant specific permission, okay? You can do this like following. You can do this like following ADB shell and there is permission and grant. Here you need to specify two things. You need to specify the package, the full package name of your application, like the ID, for example, com.unis and my app, for example, YouTube, for example, this is the first thing. And then you need to specify what is the permission you need. For example, all permissions, for example, start with the following, like most Android permissions, of course camera for example if i press that it will try it will grant it okay now with the same exact thing but changing only grant to revoke okay we call it revoke like the following we can revoke this permission let's say you tested one scenario and you want to retest the scenario when you don't have the permission of the camera what will happen exactly you can use the revoke like follow these are two critical commands for dealing with permissions in android the next important command we use it in order to simulate the process step right so that we can see if our android application is restoring the state correctly and not simply you do it by following adb shell am as always and then you do kill here you need to specify the app id which is the package name with the app of course so here for example units.youtube click on it and then it will kill the application of course this is the way you can simulate it you can also simulate it by using the command log i think here we had this option before i don't know where is it right now we usually use ADB for, for that reason. The next command, we use it really a lot in order to clear all the app data there is in this application. We use the normal command ADB shell, and here we use the package manager in order to clear the app data. And then you can do simply com. for example, units.ut, for example. Okay, this is pretty much it on how to clear the app data. Shortly, I will show you the way to clear the app data and restart immediately so we don't have to type many commands, okay? This is really cool, then going to the Android phone, checking the app settings, and then doing the clear, okay? Using this one, especially if you have this as aliases, it would be really cool. Now you can use other commands also to enable and disable mobile data and also the Wi-Fi. So you don't have to go to the emulator yourself, grab that menu from the top, of course, and then enable and disable something. You can do that directly. So here I have this to enable. Now there is problem with the versions of Android. So depending on the version, you can use ADB shell like following and you can go to SVC like that and you can type data and then use enable, okay? Like following, you can see it is enabled. By the same token, you can use disable. Like it doesn't work, this one doesn't work for Wi-Fi and enable. This doesn't work. Okay, that's fine, it is working. Sometimes since the version of Android, it will change. Now there is other command you can use, which is the following, ATB shell CMD, Wi-Fi set Wi-Fi enabled, enabled, okay? This one enable it, so you can disable it like the following. This is also cool. You can use these commands in order to make your life much more productive when testing Android application. Even so, you can do this from the unit test, right? I encountered one time I had to run the test with Wi-Fi and data enabled and disabled, and you can do this using the runtime.execute uh, commands, okay? You can specify the same exact command. Now, the last command, which we can use sometimes to debug the app launch, okay? This is sometimes really crucial in order to attach the debugger and debug the startup launch, okay? So the way to do it always with ADB, shell and then we use the and activity manager and then we use the set debug app dash w and then we have to provide the package name for our application okay which may be simply youtube like following this is the way to do it and then also after doing this this will run one time only but then in order to disable that like following you can do clear debug app like that and of course you have to delete this mindset 
Now, this is the ADB command we use often in Android development. Now, you can forget all about typing and install one simple plugin to do all of this for you. Okay, that's the beauty. Now, you may tell me why I had to follow all this commands and descend all these commands. I would tell you like from some from time to time, you have to type the commands yourself. Okay, so go here to the plugins. In the plugins here, search for ADB ID. ADB ID. Okay, this is a famous plugin, 1.3 million users, right? So you can do the following once you install it, you can do the tools, you can go to the tools, ADB, and simply you can have all those commands. For example, you can revoke all permissions, revoke permissions and restart. This is really cool. This is also cool with clear app data. For example, you can clear the app data, but immediately clear app data and restart, okay? This will, under the hood, will execute some ADB command in order to do it, okay? There is some problems, not problems, but for example, here you can kill the app, uninstall the app, restart the app. Here you are, the enable, disable of mobile data and the Wi-Fi. This is really cool. But for some applications, it's problematic. For example, you have to revoke all permissions. You can't revoke specific permission, right? This is a problem. Another problem I don't like with this plugin is that, let's say I have, uh, let's say I have another command I want to use. You have to open a pull request, request this uh, command, but there isn't any option in order to add this command manually. The beauty of this plugin isn't just going here, tools, ADB, idea, and uh, start it. You can do double shift, for example, ADB, and install, and then boom, I can uninstall the app immediately. This is really a big productivity booster for every Android developer out there. So this is pretty much it for this video. If you didn't subscribe to the Productive Developer newsletter, I have the link down below. Every week, I will try to send you one actionable advice that will make you more productive as a developer. Thank you very much, and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.